Welcome to Staffworks Explained. If you are here for the first time, please consider subscribing to this channel. Also, hit the notification bell so that when we upload a new video, you are notified. Today, we'll be talking about uh, the fifth feeling of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam Guard. Ethiopia is said to carry out the fifth feeling of the Grand Ethiopian uh, Renaissance Dam, which is uh, known as GAD or Ethiopian Dam. And this is expected to be done by the end of July, which is expected to bring an additional 23 billion cubic meters of water to the dam. This, despite the objection from uh, downstream countries, Egypt and Sudan. If you recall, this dam has been uh, constructed from uh, 2011 and up to now it's about to be completed and it has been co constructed at, cost, at a cost of 4.8 billion uh, US dollars. As you know, the dam is located on the Blue River Nile and uh, it has a planned reservoir capacity of 74 billion cubic meters. And uh, it's expected to generate up to 6,000 megawatts of power. There has been a controversy, conflict between Ethiopia and Egypt and Sudan, the downstream countries. Egypt has been opposed to the construction of this dam from the word go because they believe that construction of this dam and holding uh, such huge amount of water will affect the water that flows to Egypt. Egypt relies on uh, almost wholly on River Nile for its agriculture and also for domestic use. Uh, so they have been opposed to this dam from the world go. They have tried so many times to uh, to halt the construction of this dam, but uh, Ethiopia has been adamant. They have uh, uh, pushed forward and now the dam is almost being completed. The dam has been filled uh, almost five times, starting with 2020. The dam's primary purpose is production of electricity and uh, this to relieve Ethiopia's acute energy shortage. And uh, this country is described by as, as power deficient. It is to want to use the power to uh, power its industries and also power homes and also sell extra to the neighboring countries. With a plant capacity of six gigawatts when completed the dam will be one of the largest in uh, Africa and also among the 20th uh, largest dams in the world. On February 2022 uh, the dam started producing electricity for the first time and uh, it delivered the grid a rate of 375 megawatts. A second 375 megawatts turbine was commissioned in August 2022. The feeling, uh, the new feeling, that is the fifth feeling, raising concerns among Egyptians or Egyptian experts uh, because they believe that this will uh, decrease Egypt's share of the Nile water and their fears that the move will complicate the crisis between the two countries. The first phase of filling this dam was in July 2020. Uh, and uh, in August 2020, when the level of the water reached 540 meters, uh, 40 meters higher than uh, the bottom of the river, which is 500 uh, meters above sea level. The second filling, which was in July, I started in July 2021, the water levels increased to around 575 meters. The third filling, which was in uh, uh, completed on August 2022, I mean, took the water level to 600 meters. The fourth filling, which was completed on 10th September 2023, put the water levels at around 625 meters. With the, few, with the new addition of 23 billion, then it's expected that perhaps the dam will reach its capacity, which is 645 meters. All these years, is Ethiopia has been uh, filling the dam without a formal agreement the downstream countries the countries have been accusing uh, Ethiopia of unilaterally filling the dam uh, they say that they're doing Ethiopia is doing this without them having 
agreed the, the, the two countries have been uh, the, the bone of condition as far as this dam is concerned has been uh, uh, about the filling of the dam Egypt and Sudan wanted the dam to be filled uh, gradually over a long period of uh, time perhaps 15 years but Ethiopia wanted to fill the dam as quickly as possible and uh, now with the fifth filling the dam might be full in this year. Egypt has called on uh, Ethiopia to conduct detailed technical studies on the effect of the guard stressing that uh, Ethiopia unilateral measures risk perpetuating tensions and stability in the region. The new Ethiopian action comes after the failure of the fourth round of negotiations between the three countries. Uh, the three countries have been in talks uh, f since 2011, but uh, the recent uh, round of talks uh, failed in December 2023. And now the countries, uh, I mean the conflict continues. Um, the Egyptian Ministry of Water said in a statement that uh, it's now clear that the Ethiopian side is determined to continue to exploit the negotiation uh, cover to consolidate the reality on the ground and to negotiate with the main with the aim of uh, obtaining an instrument of approval from the two downstream countries on absolute control of the Blue River Nile, regardless of international law, stressing that it will be closely monitoring the process of filling and operation of the dam. Cairo or Egypt has has uh, previously forwarded the dossier to the United Nations Security Council after Ethiopia completed its fourth filling last September, stressing that uh, Ethiopia is doing this unilaterally uh, as far as filling and the management of the dam is concerned. And uh, e Egypt feels that the filling of the dam is an existential uh, threat to Egypt because the country wholly relies on uh, Nile water for its agriculture use and also for domestic use. A geologist known as Abbas Sharaki posted on uh, a satellite photo of the Grand Renaissance Dam announcing that the fifth filling has begun and is expected to be concluded the first week of September. So Ethiopia is filling the dam during the heavy rain season, but the downstream countries, Sudan and the, uh, Egypt, are saying that Ethiopia has been doing this without consulting them, and Ethiopia on its side has been denying this, saying that they are guided by the uh, principle of declaration, which is a document that has been guiding the construction of this dam. Ethiopia has been saying that they have agreed on uh, some areas, but uh, there are some areas where they have not agreed, and Ethiopia is adamant that they want to continue filling the dam so that the dam can benefit its people and uh, pro through providing water for irrigation and also providing electricity to power its industrial uh, revolution. So we'll be looking to see whether uh, this uh, filling will be co will, mean will fill the dam and then the dam operate at full capacity and how the two countries, downstream countries, Egypt uh, will and Sudan will react. Uh, we remember that Sudan is in conflict and uh, there's no, there's, there's no uh, statement coming from Sudan as far as this feeling is concerned and uh, uh, we'll look uh, in the future to see how this progresses. So thank you for reaching this far. If it's your first time here, please consider subscribing to this channel. Also, watch different videos that we have done on this topic and other topics. Thank you.